Happy New Year! Might 2018 be the year when the Libertarian Political Party finally begins to make a real difference? Many of us hoped last year's presidential race would be the election where a Libertarian finally broke through. But that was not to be. Sorry to keep you waiting. If he didn't get close last election with two candidates lots of people hated, what's the point? The point is, John, we did do well in 2016. Nick Sarwark's the chairman of the Libertarian Party. We tripled all previous records. In the 45-year history of the Libertarian Party, we've never had that kind of support from the electorate. And that's great. Tripled to what, 4%? About 3.5. What's the point if that's success? Really, success is a long-term thing. It's a process. It's not a particular election. More and more people are seeing that when you elect Republicans, you don't get the sort of small government they run on. If you elect Democrats, you don't get civil liberties. You don't get any of the standing up for the little guy that they say that they're all about. Both parties are fighting over the ability to take your tax money and give it to their corporate special interest friends. And they're winning. Somehow their message is more compelling to more Americans. But we're growing and they're dying. Voter registration identity with Republicans and Democrats is dropping. Voter registration identity with Libertarians is the only party that's growing. In a few years, the Libertarians will again hold an open to everyone convention to pick a nominee for the presidential race. Will that winner do better than Gary Johnson did? A lot of Libertarians say, ah, it's Gary's fault. He was too low key. He sounded like he was stoned. People aren't perfect. No one has the perfect combination of credibility, experience, purity of message. He was the best candidate the delegates could have picked, and we had the best success that we've ever had. Libertarians might have more success if Libertarian candidates were invited to more of the TV debates. The party has filed a lawsuit to try to force that to happen. The media tries to help the old party politicians because it's simpler. It's simpler to run a story where it's just Republicans and Democrats, it's red and blue, it's team A and team B. It's more complicated to say, you know, there are more political options out there. So they try and make us look silly. Gary Johnson looked silly on MSNBC when he was suddenly asked about Syria, though he'd been talking about domestic affairs. And I think the Republican Party has gotten really extreme in that category. What would you do if you were elected about Aleppo? About Aleppo. And what is Aleppo? Then he didn't know anything about where Aleppo is. He knew what Aleppo was. Absolutely, and this is a common trick in courtrooms and, and interviews everywhere, is you, you hit someone with a gotcha moment and you take advantage of their confusion. It's a dirty trick, but people pull it, and that's what the media did. But now it's the new year, another chance to show Americans what libertarians stand for. The rights of the individual, the right to free speech, the right to keep and bear arms, the limitations on the powers of government. Republicans and Democrats try to keep you off the ballot. Absolutely they do. They pass laws specifically against libertarians. In my home state of Arizona, the Republicans passed a law to increase our signature requirements to get on the ballot by up to 30 times. What do you mean specifically against libertarians? They can't do that. The floor debate in the legislature had Republican leaders saying this is to stop libertarian candidates from running against us. We could lose our races if they run against us. They hate competition. And you're going to be on the ballot in all 50 states? That's the plan. They're already on the ballot in the yellow states. They're working on the gray states. Gary Johnson helped with that. He absolutely did. He brought a credibility to the party and a popularity that we're building on now. Um, but it's not about any particular candidate. That's the real difference between the Libertarian Party and, say, Ross Perot. When Ross Perot gets tired of running for office, there's nothing there anymore. The Libertarian Party is millions of Americans who have come together and said, we want a right to live our life, to pursue happiness any way we choose, as long as we don't hurt other people and we don't take their stuff. And the two old political parties, that's not what they're about. They're about taking power and controlling you.